hey guys what's up what's up what's up welcome back to Pali's little kitchen man Dungayaria. i'm about to do some roast fish and as you can see i have my fish over here they are all taken care of already by scraping gutting and you know i have some vinegar wash it in vinegar i have a little vinegar on it now with some lemon juice i squeeze a big lemon on it yeah so i'm gonna rinse this off now and proceed look at this guys this fish is a big fish yep i'm about to roast these now they are about to get eaten all of these big boys that you see right here in my sink yup i'm about to season my fish now so i have over here some blended season as usual guys you know you can't leave out your blended season so i have pimento thyme onion garlic all the season that you can think of the earth season i blend all of that together and i use vinegar to blend my season guys not to mention scotch bonnet pepper and ginger and all those things so yeah some all-purpose seasoning that i'm using with some cayenne pepper so i go ahead and mix that together and i have some garlic salt over here and these are some earth seasoning that i'm going to use on my callaloo no, we can't leave out with okra. Yep, okra have a lot of stamina, so we can't leave it out, guys. So I'm about to rub some season in my fish now. So stay with me. So guys, as you can see, I am in the process of seasoning my fish. I'm using some garlic salt as the first thing I'm using. I'm gonna rub some in the fish belly. I put some mark in the fish i'm ensuring that all that seasoning get in the mark that i put in the fish you have to use your hand to do all of this you know because you want your fish to be bursting with flavor and spicy yeah and ensure that you always put some in the belly and rub it right in right up to the fish head don't leave out the fish head guys season up your fish head yeah the last thing that i'm going to put on the fish now is my blended season yeah make sure that you put it in the belly also and in the head you have to stuff it in the head yeah same procedure we're going to do all of them the same way that we do the first one a little garlic salt a little garlic salt first then you're gonna put a little in the belly and in the head ensure that you season your fish head guys you want your fish to be bursting with flavor yeah so this is my color loo that i'm going to i'm going to show you how to clean up the color loo guys i'm going to use this to stuff my fish but you can go ahead and stuff your fish with your likings whatever it is that you like but I'm going to use some nice leafy greens to do my stuffing. And as you know, color will give you iron for all of those persons who is anemic. Yeah, you can go ahead and eat up your leafy greens. So stay with me, guys. So, guys, you want to wash your color real good. I already washed this with some salt and stuff. So you want to go ahead and wash it and wash the leaf good 
and no debris and all those things. I need to wash it off properly. So that was some salt water it was soaking in. So first I'm going to cut this off the stock and I'm going to strip this so this is how you strip it strip the membrane so if you are stripping it and it happens to pop off as you start to pull on it, it does go back again and you look where it pop from and continue to strip. Because if you don't take that off of your color look guys, your color look is going to so this is what we do when we are cleaning up our color color look. The next thing again you can look in the color if you see any seed most of the time it have some seed in here i don't see any in this yeah so i'm gonna continue to strip my color look so we can have the membrane of the color look, right so guys you have to go between each of the stalk of the color look and strip it it's not only the top part alone you strip it from, right? You have to come down here and you strip it. Right? See the amount of strip? So guys, sometimes the colorless stock is tough. But you will know when it is tough, right? And you right? So I hold that. See that? Okay. So guys, I preheat my pot and I'm using one tablespoon of oil. So my pot is already preheat. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in my onion and garlic just to release some flavor there before I put in the color look just to release some flavor putting in some of the pepper not using all I'm not using all the peppers guys in with the tomato I want to release some flavor before I put in my color look. then I'm going to cover that for a minute or less so after that minute has passed I'm going to put in my okra Smelling that flavor. Whoa, that flavor is bursting in the air. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna keep a little garlic salt and this. Yeah. I'm gonna cover that for a minute or less also. Flipping. So after that minute, guys, a lot of flavor has been released. I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna put my color look in. So guys, I'm using the butter to pierce the file paper to prevent the fish from sticking on to the file paper. So that's what the butter does. 
Yeah. So steam greens that I'm going to stuff my fish with and I'm gonna stuff this fish real properly and put in all the time yeah This is bursting with flavors, guys. Can you imagine when this finish? Oh, whoa. Remember to stuff. Guys, you can put a second piece of fire wrap over the fish but you don't have to grease the second piece of fire wrap so this is the end of my roast fish my oven roast fish looking lovely bursting with flavors so guys remember to like share comment and subscribe like the videos guys like up the videos like and share, share.